What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Live, and I'm back out here with another legendary video. And in this video, we get a little bit done right before transfers. Um, this is like really days leading up to the opening of the service. Make sure y'all drop a like, hit that subscribe button, man. I know we didn't get the 60 likes on the last video. We got almost 30 likes. I'm definitely grateful and I appreciate all you guys that support the content. All right. I'm cryoing up these tappies. You guys seen the last video. I was raising them. They're all done right now. 100% imprint. Um, we'll be getting these into the cryo fridge and ready for PVP. Been putting in the imprints for these squids, these two souls, making sure these will be up and ready by transfers. Any underwater fobs, I'll have a DPS dino that can handle its own. All right, I'm excited about these. Also, to grind, been telling you guys about the black pearls. I gotta focus on black pearls. Um, we still got a couple more builds we would like to do on the server, and we'll need a ton of black pearls to um, get that done. So everybody doing their part, swimming around the ocean, getting everything um, organized for the tribe is, is really the play. All right, um, I got these annoying walks to do with these squids. And if you hate walks as much as me, man, don't forget to drop a like on this video. And please, man, pray for less walks when you imprint your diamonds. Now, as far as the soakers are concerned, you guys seen I raised some racers um, two videos ago, and I got my hands on some of the top stat stegos. All right, so I'm back on the kangaroo, snatching up a ton of berries. So I can definitely feed these stegos and keep them alive, keep them fully imprinted. And yeah, as soon as the PvP pops off, I'll be able to uh, upload all the dinos needed to make certain pushes against our enemies. So we're all the berries done. You can see my little lineup here. Um, we got some centipedes going. We got the carches, those top stack carches you seen me grab last video. They're doing pretty good. They should be hitting Julie real soon. Um, they are pretty simple and easy if you got good weight in them. They hold a lot of meat real early. And yeah, definitely a fun time getting all these imprints done as everybody's breeding all over the place. It's really hard to walk your dinos and stuff. So real, real good challenge. But like I said, I need to get these stegos up ASAP. There's no way I don't have stegos for uh, day one transfers. I'm not trying to be that guy. Quite some time has passed and you can see the nice 21% imprints on these stegos. They're pretty solid. Um, they're getting up there. They got some nice HP. They'll be definitely soaking extremely well, um, equipping us with all the tools we need to get this content going. All right, it's, it's gonna be fun. I'm hoping that it starts immediately and it's not no like nervous ticks with all these tribes. Everybody's ready to go to war. It's been plenty of months to stack the resources and get your rocket, say your C4. So I'm hoping that everything pops off right away. We get to test the service and get to see how everything looking. All right, I do have some baby anks right there. You guys can see getting my Anki game going. So when it's time to swing, I'm on an imprinted and you know, whatever it takes, man. I do want to get myself some bugs 
and I do need some flyers such as RGs and PTs, but I'm looking pretty strong right now for transfers. And yeah, let's keep this party going. With these cartridges, raising them, I'm only doing about seven or eight. I'm not even sure I didn't count them. Um, do want to keep those troughs full, and because uh, it's an event going on, there's so many people raising dinos. You kind of want to keep the troughs overfilled, right? Somebody comes, they throw out their tames, they do a meat run or two, but they might not get back on, or you might not get back on. You don't want your dinos to die, all right? So definitely go crazy with the meat runs do your part make it easy for everyone in your tribe but seriously out of all the chores that I have as a tribe member in the mighty ball bags, you never gotta beg me to do a meat run. These cartridges are so fun to use, running around, getting the stacks, speeding through the, the jungles, killing and eating everything in sight. It's pretty amazing. It's what the Giga should have been like. And I got a question for you guys, man. If you think Gigas will dominate after transfers put a one two two in the comment section just a little cold between me and you one two two and as much as i don't really like the water i'm still down here trying to be efficient with keeping my angler game going i got quite a few anglers um i've been taming them 120 and up also killing all the megalodons and um, whales that I can find because they have resources that help us do boss fights and keep us doing boss fights consistently. The worst part is sitting in a tribe wanting to do elite fights and you can't do them because you don't have the resources from these weak dinosaurs. Alright, so got guys down here consistently keeping those deadies full with the tooths and uh, the spinal cells and and you know everything man it just keeps everything flowing you got this 120 angler knocked out right here it was an easy knockout um like i said i'm trying to get myself at least five to six anglers and then i will be breeding them all up to get a riding bonus so when it's time for pearls if they get anti meshed or they die or whatever we really ain't stressing the case all right having these anglers are efficient because silica pearls is needed for electronics and so many important things in the game you definitely want to have these real close to you and they're not easy to find the 120s and up are not easy to find you could be down here for hours looking for a high level <laughs> Also was fortunate enough and I say fortunate because these things don't even get a chance to live a second on our server is a alpha two so for the big um, black pro grind like it, it, it's really OP all right obviously the exp is pre pretty good but you just feel lucky to find one of these as you can see I'm with my whale with the prim saddle absolutely ripping this thing apart so you have no need to fear if all you have is a whale swim around and try to find these things and kill them as much as possible the most is a little bit better 
because they die faster that you can actually just grab them with the, the squid so like it, it, it's really dope and the squids do this annoying um ink stuff when you're about to kill it and it's really annoying all right but we killed it and we'll be looking to kill a lot more and stacking up the bps <laughs> Ended up finding another 120 angler. And like I was saying earlier, these things are, are pretty annoying to find. Like I've been down here probably for an hour and a half, two hours, and I found two 120s, right? In that time on a different server, you know, probably have been a lot more, right? Higher levels, especially on center, but on this map is just awful. And you can see it barely had any life by the time I had it knocked out. Um, it's a decent angler, nothing too too crazy. Like I said, stats don't really matter. You're just really trying to get pearls and keep pearls and have imprinted anglers. So getting done here with the final angler of the day, I will be getting more in the near future. Um, I gotta start, like I said, for the fourth time, breeding these up and getting these going. Um, I think the levels is a little jipped on this. 179 seems low, but whatever. It's another angler to the collection and pearls is not something we should be worried about at all, period. Especially coming from what I'm gonna be doing with these anglers. Um, I got a few spots on here that I know to hit consistently, and yes, I will be having a fun time with these things, man. But anyway, appreciate you guys for supporting the content again, consistently grinding with me, and I'll be back to the lab and back to creating and back to making more um, exclusive content for you guys. Like I said, tomorrow is the last day before transfers. I'll be doing a little sneak peek into the mighty. Other than that, man, I'm gone.